King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop. King Carter, King Carter. Yo, what's going on, Team IKC? It's your boy I King Carter here. Today I'm breaking down my UFC experience, man. I played EA Sports UFC early, and I got a couple screenshots here. A little disclaimer, we were not able to capture gameplay. I know it's only about like another month until the game comes out, maybe about three and a half weeks, but EA Sports didn't let us capture gameplay. Hopefully, um, they bring me back out to capture gameplay or they send me a copy early so I can get you guys some fluid shots and actual gameplay. But um, first, we're going to break down the main menu, and then I'm going to dive into a little more deeper things. So uh, let's just go over the start. Now, this right here is the home screen. You are able to fight now in the octagon against a friend, head up if you want to. Um, you can go over to the UFC spotlight. Now, the spotlight basically shows all of your stats, all of your friend's stats, and all of like the highlight things that are going on in the game. Now... The walkthrough, which is something you are definitely going to need. You're going to need to play through a tutorial to get down some of these controls. Now, the game control-wise is a lot similar to UFC Undisputed 3. So if you are a big fan of that game and you do have that game currently, you might want to play that game a little bit to brush up on your skills to get ready for EA Sports UFC. But I'll dive more into controls a little bit later. Now, uh, the next screen that you guys are looking at is the play screen. Now, like I said, fight now, get in the octagon, hurry up and start fighting. Career, become the ultimate fighter. That tab right there is where I'm going to live on this game. That and fighting online. Now, challenges. Challenges is basically learning how to fight. It is not, not somewhat of a tutorial, more of, say, for instance, you need to get a strike combination down or you need to put somebody in a submission or you need to put somebody in a clinch. That right there are the challenges in order to get you a certain belt in that area. Now, if you do get challenges done within a certain amount of time or certain amount of strikes or hits, you receive a black belt. Now, there are different tiers and belts, but you know, your boy is good. So <laughs> all he got was black belts. I didn't see no other belts. I'm just saying. But uh, let's talk about online. Now, online is uh, somewhat different. You hop online, you can go up against friends, of course, and you can go up against something called rivals. I'll hop into that next screenshot soon enough. And, of course, walkthrough is play through the tutorial. So the home screen and the play screen are somewhat similar, but the play screen has, of course, more menus. Now, let's hop into the fighter net tab which is basically ufc spotlight your friends list and your profile now for ufc spotlight what ea sports ufc has done with this game is add a highlight reel feature to their game so if you get like outstanding knockouts or crazy submissions or anything like that ea sports ufc the game itself will be recording your knockouts and highlights and actually put them up on UFC Spotlight, which is a long list and long line of all highlight reels from fighters all across the world. So if you get in these 10 second knockouts and stuff like that, be sure to go on UFC Spotlight and upload your knockouts there. Now for the friends list, this right here is basically somewhat of a rival scheme, uh, rival screen because say you uh, got one of your best friends you were like in college or something like that and you know you guys don't have time to play each other head up anymore. You guys can actually sit down, get a couple online games, best out of three, best out of five. You guys can play 30 matches and it will show statistics from every match, who's better, who's on top, and who's got it going on. Now, for the profile, that's your entire online win, loss, streak, statistics, you know, what you need to get better at. Say you don't have a great ground game. You can work on your ground game and challenges in a walkthrough so you can upgrade your profile while fighting online and stuff like that. Now, uh, let's talk about the customize tab. In customize tab, basically, of course, you know you have the settings tab, but... Inside settings, you can open up a few other things instead of just manage game settings. Oh, also, I did not tell you this, but the track list for EA Sports UFC is massive. It's so many songs. Like, I know a lot of people here are 2K fans of mine, but yo, 
just imagine trying to disable all the songs in that. Like it, it's it's just unreal. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm so stoked. Um, you can create a fighter outside of my career mode or career mode for UFC. So if you want to create fighters and fight up against your friends and say your friends want to come over and create their own fighter, that can be done in this game. Oh, also, did I say that Game Face is actually in EA Sports UFC? Yeah, I'll talk about that a little bit later as well. Um, also, it has a tab for My Fighter, so all of your creative fighters can be viewed on that tab. Um, and there goes music, man. It's your music. Oh, man, I'm telling you. It, you know it's crazy when music get it, gets its own tab. Like, that playlist is crazy. But uh, moving on to the Store tab. Basically, you can buy bundles, like multiple fighters at a discount, or you can buy just one fighter. Now, let me explain something to you guys about Bruce Lee. If you pre-order EA Sports UFC right now before it comes out June 17th, you will be able to have Bruce Lee in the game. If you do not pre-order the game, if you have money to purchase the fighter from the store, he will be available. I'm not sure if it's day one, but he will be available for purchase. But if you are, you know, more of a, I want to beat a challenge or I want to have some type of challenge. If you make it to the Hall of Fame and career mode on hard or pro. Now, let me tell you guys one thing about pro. Pro is not like pro, like the basics. Pro is you the man like straight up you should be in the game so if you beat the game on hard or pro for career mode and make it to the hall of fame you unlock bruce lee now uh the next thing let's talk about play and then online tab now inside the online tab you have a tab called championships you can fight your way to the top division so it's basically a tier of amount of wins that you need to have to move on to unlock new things online and to rank up your guys so basically if you're fairly new to the game and you go into championships, you're not going to be fighting a guy that has a thousand matches under his belt is the freaking the man at mixed martial arts and will take you down and submit you. No, you'll be going up against guys that are fairly new to the game, just like you. And you won't have to have that problem with getting beat down to a pulp by someone experienced. So I say if you're a person that likes online play, this is definitely the tab you're going to want to click to get ranked up to the top. Also, um, I asked EA Sports UFC about the um, people rage quitting and, you know, getting actually taken out of the ranks and getting like temporarily banned from online. They said it's more details to come on that. So but they did. They did not confirm nor deny. So I can't say that that is true or not. Now, rivalries, like I said, you can challenge your opponents from your friends list. You know, you can fight as many people as you want on your friends list. Also, you can go up into quick matches that are not ranked. So if you need to lab or learn the game, quick match is something you will want to go to before you dive into championships. You got to learn your craft before you hop into it. Now, uh, this next screen that I'm showing you guys is Anderson Silva versus John Jones. I know this fight has never happened. And at light heavyweight. So this right here was a dream match. I went into the Madison Square Garden where, in fact, there has never been a fight there for UFC. So it was like a total dream match, man. It was just crazy. Um, But we did play that match. The next screen you guys are looking at is John Jones come out, you know what I'm saying, from Rochester, New York. That's the reason why, you know, we had it at MSG. Um, also, you're saying right here is, you know, before he goes to the um, the guy to check him out and everything like that. The next screen is Anderson Silva getting checked out, you know, putting his arms up. Nah, he's not going to look at his armpits. Don't worry about that. <laughs> the next screen that you guys see is the age difference, height difference, the reach difference. Now, let me tell you guys something about John Jones. He's totally overpowered. Yep, I'm just going to say it right here right now. He's totally overpowered. I went up against him. Got knocked out twice by a girl. Mind you, no, I did not throw the match. Um, I got beat by her, um, but I had to take it to the ground with Anderson Silva in order to beat John Jones. His striking, John Jones, is incredible. Like you if he just keeps pressing kick and you know timing it the right way, you can get knocked out real fast. But um <laughs> the next screen you guys are looking at is Bruce Buffer. You know what I'm saying? The octagon announcer. It's time No, I can't even do it right. He just, he just do it too beastly. Um, the next screen you guys are looking at is Anderson Silva doing his, uh, you know, octagon crawl up the plank. Same thing with John Jones. He, you know, he's just sitting there thinking about life, you know. 
and he's on a bad toe, so you know maybe his maybe his toe is totally healed now, man. You never know. But uh, this is all a game. But uh, the next screen you guys are looking at is actually the new loading screen. You know what I'm saying? So you know you want to check out the loading screen. There it is. But let's hop into something a little bit more detailed about the game. Let's talk about the controls for a minute. Now, I will say that your boy forgot to take pictures of the controls screen. And when I tried to open up the manual, it told me to go to a website. And then when I went to that website, it was not active. So, I have to tell you guys the controls myself. Now, the first thing you need to know is striking to the head and to the legs, there are no modifiers for that. Now, what I mean by this is, say, for instance, you're in like close with somebody and you throw a leg kick. If you throw a leg kick by pressing X or circle, they will throw a leg kick. But if you're moving in momentum, they might throw a body kick. And if you're backing up, they might throw like a chest kick to, you know, kind of separate the space from the other fighter. Now, let's talk about the the regular controls for just striking. Of course, square triangle x and circle are for arms and legs the controls are so so close to the ufc undisputed three that's why i said in the beginning of the video you need to play that game to brush up on things but there are a few different things and big things at the most that are different in controls r1 is now a modifier for specialty punches and kicks so flying knees jumping off the cage uh spinning back kicks um cartwheel kicks uh superman punches back fists you want to press r1 now for hooks uppercuts uh leg kicks thigh kicks uh knees to the to the sternum uh chest kicks all of that is done with l1 now this is the thing about uppercuts if you want to throw an uppercut you have to flick the l the uh l trigger the moving to move your man you have to move that backwards and he will throw an uppercut if you're moving forward he will throw a hook or he will throw like a straight strike to try to close the distance now with the specialty punches, when you do move forward, they try to, you know, get in close and try to try to do their punches. But for the most part, if a player does not have different specialty attacks, they will only do what they know. So there isn't like any real strategy to, you know, say, I want to throw a leg kick. I want to throw a punch to the head. I want to throw a chest kick. You have to really use the momentum of your fighter. Now, in order to lunge at a, a player, you actually have to press the L2 button and then lunge forward for like one leg grabs. Or if you want to grab both legs, you got to hit the L uh, analog backwards while you're pressing L2. And he'll actually dive for both legs in an attempt to actually just scoop the player up. Now, for defense, defense is a little bit different. Um, now, um, let me, before I hop into defense, clinching, if you want to clinch with a fighter, you press like L2 and then like up a little bit and then like he'll go for his head instead of lunge for him. But, um, with defense, the right trigger is your best friend. Now, what I mean by this is not just for blocking in order to like play defense in its whole entire, like feel of the game, you need R2 in your life. Like it's so crazy. Now, blocking, I will have to say, it works and it doesn't work. Now, this is what I mean by this. People out there that like to just hold R2 in case, you know, a fighter is going to hit you with a shot that you don't know is coming and you don't have great timing. He may block the first shot, but that second shot might come through the gloves or that, that leg kick that's coming around after that, like spinning back fist or... That jab, that thing might hit you bad. So I would have to say if you need to work on something, you need to work on your timing in the game because you can parry shots. Now, let me discuss something about parrying shots. To parry a shot, you have to press R2, but you have to press square, triangle, X, or circle, which means wherever they're coming from with their kick or punch, you need to be able to hit that trigger as well to parry. Now, the thing about parry is it's not like an automatic parry. Like, I've seen a lot of articles out there that say, oh, all you got to do is hold this button, hold this button, and he'll parry. No, you have to press the R2 button and press the button 
at almost at the same time as them throwing their shot. So when you see them loading up and it's coming, that's when you have to parry. Now I won't have I won't sit here and say that you can straight up parry like three jabs in a row. Because once you parry one shot, you should be going in for your shot. So I would parry and then attack and then, you know, just be conservative, you know, with your counter strikes. But if you're parrying, certain players have great defensive skills and they can move their head out of the way with which is a parry but some players have to put their hands up to parry a shot so people like bruce lee when you saw the commercial and you saw bruce lee parry and he was like moving around his head and everything like that that's his parry but if you see players like uh take for instance kane vasquez he has to put his hands up and, and like patch your shot down because he's not that agile okay now uh let's talk about the ground game the ground game is somewhat similar. You know, you have to use like right hooks like in Fight Night or in UFC Undisputed 3. You have to like push the right trigger over and then curve it halfway to get to certain positions. So I will say this. If you're one of those people that don't know how to use that type of analogy with the ground game and clinching and everything like that, don't just spin the thing in a circle because all you're going to keep doing is going to north, south, and then not even touching full amount. You'll go north, south, side control, north, south, side control. So you need to be able to know where you're at on the in the octagon, if you're on top, if you're on bottom, and you need to be able to know if you need to go left hook up or right hook up. Like, you need to be able to know how to do that. Don't just think you're going to go in the octagon and just spin that thing until, you know, it's time to get it done. Now, let's talk about submissions. In order to get a submission down, you have to press R1 from either the ground or on the top position. If you have the right position for a submission, you press R1. And then you right hook, and then they will actually start the submission uh, screen. Now, the, the submission screen is brand new. Um, I didn't take any pictures of it, but what I can do is show you a screen of um, a guy getting submitted and, you know, him just holding his arm. But basically, in this, you have to battle with the other player. Like, it's no more chasing somebody around, you know, a little octagon screen with a with a snake. No, we not we don't have no Kias this time around, guys. You really have to battle with this person. Now, with the right analog, you when a person is trying to get out of a submission, he can move it right, left, up, or down. What the player that's in the submission has to do is if the person that's getting submitted goes down, the person that is submitting has to go down to block him. But this player can go up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right a million times. And it will be very hard for you to stop him from getting out of the submission. But you have to really injure that player a lot. And you will have your chance at it. But there is something called transitions in the UFC. You have to fight through transitions in your submission. So there are stages in each submission that you have to go through by clicking the left stick only when the option is available. So, for instance, if you're in a blue corner, if a blue L pops up, like right next to the uh, right side of the screen, you flick it to the right. You flick the left stick to the right. If it's on the right side, you flick it to the right. If the blue L pops up at the top, you flick it to the top. But at the same time, while you're doing that with the left stick, you have to stop the player with the right stick trying to get out of the submission. So there are transitions to it. It, it seems like it gets deeper. But with the more, like say for instance, you get through the first transition by flicking it and you get deeper in the submission, it will become so much harder for the player on the bottom or the player that is getting submitted to get out. So don't think that, you know, you're still going to be battling, battling him with the right stick like, oh my God, it's so hard to get him in the joint. No, once you get it deeper, it gets harder for him to get out. And then once you get deeper again it gets extremely hard for him to get out and then all you got to do is wait for that little chance hit flick that little l and then once you flick that thing you put him in the submission is over baby over so i will have to say it's harder until you get your timing down you have to have great timing but let me hop into uh spamming spamming is like probably the the craziest thing that everybody wants me to talk about you cannot spam in EA Sports UFC. If you spam buttons, you're getting knocked the heck out. Like, you're going to get, oh my God, it's so crazy. Listen, I tried to spam like jab, cross, jab, cross. I got hit with a high kick. 
I got startled and next thing you know, I'm groggy and I get my, my head knocked off. So don't think you're going to come into EA Sports UFC spam, 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 spam. No, you have to have a strategy. You have to pick your shots wisely and you have to not get hit. That's why they say this whole entire longevity thing, this little, you know, thing into my career mode is very, very big in this game because people can get knocked out in the first 10 seconds of the fight. The first 20 seconds of the fight, the first 30 seconds of the fight, the first minute of the fight, a fighter can get knocked out in this game. I, I swear to God, if a person comes out, throws three high kicks back to back, all you got to do is throw a Superman punch. If you parry two and like and he threw the, the next one and you like sidestepped it, all you got to do is throw a Superman punch. That's going to tear up his whole day because his stamina bar is going to be all the way to the bottom. So if you're in the heavyweights, and you got somebody throwing high kicks. By the time they throw these three kicks, man, it simultaneously in, in in no succession, their stamina is down. They don't have the the wits to block and stuff like that. It's just going to get ugly, man. So don't spam. Pick your strategies the right way. Pick who you're fighting. Know who you're fighting. And try to get a win. This is like the most realistic UFC game out there that I can like explain to you guys but uh let's hop into my career real quick man um before i get up out of here because you know david the king carter is going to make his return but um basically you know you're looking at the general info screen the appearance the gear the skills basically you know you create your fighter and you know everything is already in there for you general info appearance the gear on and um i, I mean in and out of the octagon so you know your sponsors and everything are all in there um, the next screen you guys are looking at, you've already seen this screen with the submission. Basically, I was in training, learning how to submit, and it took me a minute and 16 seconds to get down the transition, get him to the ground, start the submission process, and submit the guy. It took me a minute and 16 seconds, and I got a score of 1,500, and that right there got me a black belt. All right, the next screen you guys are looking at is the actual um, UFC, the Ultimate Fighter Gym. Um, I didn't have any new notifications, so, you know, I was going into my first fight, you know, ever in the Ultimate Fighter, and it was an elimination match for the Ultimate Fighter. Now, uh, the, this guy that you're looking at, um, Ricardo Schmitz, that's a weird name to have, but okay. But um, he's fighting out of Brazil. Now, this guy, I would have to say... It was pretty cool, you know, but you could check out uh, the Ultimate Fighter guys and the trainer for uh, UFC 360 and everything like that in the background. They got the judges. They got the pictures. Everything is nice. Then you got me coming out. I know it says player name. I didn't I didn't feel like having time to, you know, create David the King Carter and all of that. So I just picked a lot of standard stuff. So don't don't say, oh, this is this how your fighter is going to look? Because I'm going to be using the game face feature. I'm going to go to Walgreens, get some passport photos taken front and both sides of my head and probably even the back of my head. And I'm going to put them on EA Sports uh, game face feature website and have my player look exactly like me. But um, this screen that you guys are looking at, yeah, I put that boy down. Um, this is me initially celebrating. The ref had to pick that dude up over there. Like, he's he's down. Um, this right here is me, you know, throwing my hands up, celebrating. You know, people were hype. Um, me, this is me, like, you know, I was I was doing something crazy. Like, I was doing, like, uh, with the belt, you know, it was like, imaginary belt. Like, ah, you know, it was just, it was pretty cool. And this right here is a couple replays. Basically, the ground game, pretty nice. I had uh, side control. I wasn't I wasn't in half guard. I was in side control, and I just put a beating on him. So, you know, um, the first shot that I took was a regular punch, and then I mixed in a little bit of elbow, and next thing you know, he went night-night. So um, that right there concludes my EA Sports UFC experience. If anyone has any questions about EA Sports UFC. What you can do is leave them in the comment section of this video. But if you want to get in touch with me immediately, like this is something big that I did not mention, please send me a message on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Just mention me at iPodkin Carter. Also, you can follow me, but mention me on there and I will answer your questions. Um, I'm trying to figure out, is there anything else that I missed before I get up out of here? Um... As of right now, I don't think that I'm missing anything. I went over all the controls, went over the main menu, and I went over career men career mode. So, 
yeah, man, uh, this is our KC signing out. Um, just holla at me, you know what I'm saying? Um, also, if you guys want a written down version of how this game went, I'm going to be sending you guys over to Good Game Bro website. Um, the link will be in the description. I met up with this guy over at uh, EA Sports UFC. His name is Corey. And um, this dude, he wrote an uh, amazing article. So, you know, I'm definitely going to tell you guys to check that out. But um, this is IKC signing out, man. I'm going to at you guys in the next video. Peace. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.